It was a fun night here at Chuck Chansey Park in Fresno, California, as Jamel Herring defended his world title successfully. And now he can say that he's not only a champion, but a champion for a cause for all the fighting Marines on Veterans Day weekend. I'm Bernardo Soon alongside Timothy Bradley, Andre Ward, and Mark Kriegel. Your impressions of this fight, Dre? I thought Jamel Herring did a good job tonight. I felt like he could have did better. He fell asleep in certain spots of the fight, namely in the middle rounds. He allowed the young fighter to come on. I think if Jamel Herring didn't fall asleep, I don't think Roach, I don't think Roach would have won those rounds. He showed the heart of a champion. He showed the heart of a Marine. He got hurt late in the fight. He responded the way a champion is supposed to respond. Hats off to Jamel. He got out of here with this belt. I want to see more of Lamont Roach. Well, I think that Herring... I think that he looked his age tonight. I'm not going to lie to you. 34 years old. He, he, he looked okay in spots. He looked good when he was boxing on the outside. Like Dre said, he did fall asleep in there. And, um, you know, Roach tipped my hat off to him. He did a great job. He came. He came up a little bit short. He landed that big overhand right in the 11th round that hurt Jamel Herring. And, you know, he closed the show strong. But it wasn't good enough. So he has to go back to the drawing board. And so does, I think, Jamel Herring needs to go back to the drawing board because he didn't look impressive tonight. Contrary to the rumors we seem to be perpetuating on this set, Jamel Herring was comfortably in control the whole night except for the 10th round. And in that 10th round, you saw a microcosm of his entire career and why he is such an admirable fighter. He was out on his feet, he collected himself, and he responded. He's a Marine. And now the most important thing He's a is, champion. what is the next step for Jamel Herring? Because here at 130 pounds, there's a lot of talent that is already here, the champions. There's a lot of talent moving up from featherweight, and there's guys who can come down from 135 to make money fights. So where do you go next with Jamel? I'm going to piggyback off of what Tim said earlier in the night that Tim got away from later in the night. Go for the money. <laughs> Jamel Herring is not 24. <laughs> he's 34. Go get the money. Face the best competition for the biggest prize you possibly can, period. And Nothing that would be Miguel say. Burchelt. Hello. How much money are we talking about? Because I – listen, man. <laughs> He hey, don't be negotiating man, for guys. To me. Come on. He gets a voluntary defense. Oh Why don't gosh. you get a voluntary defense? Wait, and, were and, you just talking about guys fighting tomato cans and, and it's not about Uber that. Drivers? It's not about that, man. This is I'm just saying. He looked okay. Okay. He didn't look that impressive. Before you go in into a Burchell fight, you want to have a good fight. You want to look good. You want to feel good. And then you go and step up, and then you face a unification bout. Then you have a unification bout. You He's don't go straight to that. He doesn't have a chance. What you mean you don't have he a chance? He doesn't have endless chances. Miguel Burchelt is available. It's a unification. Let's see it. Go get that money, man. Okay. Why not Tevin Farmer? Why not Oscar Valdez? Okay. I'm good with There's a lot Farmer of too. fights to be made at 130. And guess what? I hope we get to see them in early 2020. It's been a pleasure to join you here from Fresno, California. For Mark Kriegel, Andre Ward, Tim Bradley, they're both still retired. I'm Bernardo. <laughs> That's what they Until say. Until next time. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.